By the end of my three-minute three thesis presentation, around 55 people worldwide would have died suffering from a heart attack, making heart disease the leading cause of global mortality. When a patient has a heart attack, one of the blood vessels that supplies the heart with oxygen-rich blood becomes blocked, and the current focus of treatment is to remove the blockage as fast as possible. And this is currently done through things such as a balloon or a stent. However, even though clearing these blockages is essential, it in itself produces even more damage and can lead to heart failure and death. And these account for approximately 50% of the final damage. More and more evidence suggests that this damage is happening in the smallest blood vessels of the heart, known as microvessels. However, imaging methods used in hospitals at the moment are not sophisticated enough to be able to image these microvessels. If you look at the top two images on the slide, you'll see that these microvessels make around 70% of the total blood flow in the heart, so their health is of utmost importance. If researchers were able to know what happens in these microvessels as a result of a heart attack, we might be able to come up with better and more novel therapies to treat them. The aim of my PhD was to understand what's happening in these microvessels and to investigate a new treatment for people suffering from a heart attack. In order to be able to study these, I modelled what happens in a heart attack in an animal model through very delicate surgery. I was able to utilise 3D printing, state-of-the-art microscopy technologies and advanced analysis software to be able to image cell movement in the beating heart. And I'm one of the very few people in the world that's able to do this. As a result of this, I'm able to obtain video captures of what's happening in these microvessels. And the bottom three images on the slide represent still frames during those captures. My focus was on a specific type of white blood cells called neutrophils, and you can see these cells in green. These immune cells not only attack damaged cells, but also healthy cells if not controlled. My results show that as a result of a heart attack, the number of these neutrophils significantly and rapidly increase as soon as we remove the blockage. And this is also translates as an increase in the final damage. When I used the treatment that I've, I've been researching, I saw a significant reduction in these inflammatory neutrophils. And this also translated as a reduction in the final damage. Therefore, my results give us a better understanding of what's happening in the heart and show potential for this new treatment to save lives. This research might one day lead me to tell you that the millions of people who sadly lose their lives every year to a heart attack could live a healthy, full life. Thank you very much for listening.